Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're grilling up some beer bottle bacon breakfast burgers at the pit. And they're real easy to do. And try to say that again. All right. For this recipe, you're going to need some ground beef. Here we've got some ground chuck. You're going to need some cheese. Here we've got some seasoning, our SPG. Here we've got some corned beef hash. Here we've got some regular cut bacon, pork belly bacon. We've got some ham. And of course, we've got some eggs, <laughs> free range. And of course, you're gonna need your favorite bottle of beer or whatever. All right, let's get started. First thing you wanna do is season the meat, right? Yeah. So we're going to use our SPG, at least use some salt and pepper, right? Or your favorite burger seasoning and give it a good mix. Now, if you've never had a beer bottle bacon breakfast burger before, you definitely got to check this out. This will pick you up after a long night, right? All right. So we're just going to form some of this ground beef into um, like a meatball. And then we're going to um, form it around the beer bottle just like that. Now, of course, this is uh, a similar technique to the most famous burger in the world, the beer can bacon burger. And if you've never seen that before, you definitely got to check it out on our website or on YouTube or on Facebook or wherever. It's everywhere, right? Now, we formed the beef around the base of the bottle. And now we're going to take a couple of strips of regular cut bacon. And this is pork belly bacon for those who are not in the states right you know all about that and we're going to form it right around the burger and the bottle and it sticks like glue and of course you might want to use some gloves so uh, you can get the bottle out boom just like that all right now as you can see we formed a nice cup oh yeah and we're gonna fill it so you can set these up the way you want, but we've got some nice fresh ham in here and we're gonna drop it into the cup we've made. All right. You can use what you want. And here we've got some corned beef hash. You'll see this pretty much at every uh, greasy spoon breakfast bar, right? Corned beef hash, it's awesome. And of course, we've got a free range egg from Martha and the chickens. Use what fresh eggs you got. Crack it open, drop it in, just like that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I think you know where we're going with this and it's real easy to do, just like I said. All right, we've made one. Now for those who fell asleep, we'll do it again. Just make a some burger the size of a meatball. Take that uh, beer bottle, get it in there, and just form it. Oh, man. This is going to be good. I'm telling you. I told you it'd be real easy to do. Just like that. And keep it fairly thin. These will cook pretty fast on the grill. Now, we'll take that strip of bacon and wrap it. Usually, usually use about two or whatever. Like that. Oh, man. All right. You made the cup. And stuff it with what you like. Of course, this is a breakfast burger, so we're going to use some uh, honey ham, good baked ham. Drop it in. Some more corned beef hash. Corned beef hash, of course, has um, has potatoes in it. So you got your starch for your breakfast, right? <laughs> and then you take an egg, crack it, drop it in. Oh, baby. You might want to make a couple of these for uh, each one is sitting down at the table, right? One may not be enough. All right, we've shown you how to make these beer bottle bacon breakfast burgers. An English teacher would be proud with that B alliteration, right? 
All right, now we're gonna put it on the grill and we're gonna do a medium heat, about 275 degrees Fahrenheit. We don't wanna cook it too fast, right? We want the bacon to set up and slowly constrict around this, so uh, keep it about a medium heat, 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Just about perfect. All right. Nothing better to do now than uh, kick back, wait for breakfast. All right, let's check on these burgers, all right? Oh, they're coming along fine. You can see that bacon is starting to cook. Mm. bacon is pretty much cooked and now we're gonna put on some cheese and uh, here we've got some small chunks of cheddar cheese we've also got some grated Romano Parmigiano use what cheese you like for your breakfast burger right? now all we have to do is wait for it to melt And through the miracle of time, these beer bottle bacon breakfast burgers are done. Take a look at that. <laughs> I say it's time to eat. And of course, we do apologize for eating in front of you like this, but we call this pitmaster privilege. And let me show you what one of these burgers looks like on the inside. Are you kidding me? Perfect fare for the pit, for the camp, wherever. Good eating don't get any better than this. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com.